Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm gonna to be showing you the new features on iOS 8.3. The biggest feature that's been added to iOS 8.3 is of course the inclusion of diverse emojis. If you open up your keyboard and tap on the emoji icon, you'll now see your emojis in a long list. You can either scroll through by swiping or you can tap on each icon separately. To bring up some of the diverse emojis, all you have to do is hold down on an emoji. So let's say I hold down on this one. And here you'll be able to see different colored emojis ranging from light to dark. If you want to select one as your main emoji, just go to it and let go. And that will now be your main choice when selecting that emoji. Another new feature is the increase of the spacebar. So if you go into Safari, the spacebar is now bigger. That way you don't hit the period button on accident, which is something that's happened to me a lot in the past. A few languages have also been added to Siri, and another feature is that you can now use Siri to call someone on speakerphone. Call Neil on speakerphone. There are also several small features. If you go into Passbook, you'll now see that Apple Pay and Passes are separated. That way you have your debit card and your credit card separated from your concert tickets and your flight tickets and all that. If you go into Photos, you'll now see icons at the bottom left of each album, showing you what kind of files are in there. So you can see a heart for favorites, a panorama icon, icon for video, for slow-mo, for time-lapse, and for photos. If we go into settings in messages, there is now an option to filter unknown senders. So if you enable it, your messages will not be filtered between contacts in your phone and unknown senders. And finally, if you go into the app store, you can now download an application that's free without having to enter your password. If you go into the app store password settings, you can disable require password. And so when you go into the app store and wanna download something that's free, you can just tap get okay, install, and it downloads without you having to enter a password. For the most part, these features aren't huge, except maybe for the diverse emojis, but there are a lot of bug fixes which make the device run a bit more smoothly than it did on iOS 8.2. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgehacks. All right, thanks, guys.